When Clomid doesn't work, the next step quite often is to put patients on fertility injections, which are stronger than Clomid. And especially in younger patients, this is the cause of high order multiple pregnancies. These injections are strong, and instead of the patient releasing one or two eggs, sometimes despite taking all kinds of precautions, multiple eggs are released and fertilized. And it's with this option that you have an uncontrolled risk of high order multiple pregnancy. In fact, currently in patients under age 35 and definitely under age 30, especially those whose ovaries are showing plenty of follicles, we will sometimes skip this step and go directly to in vitro fertilization. Now, in vitro fertilization is more complicated than the first two options because you're on fertility injections. There's a lot of monitoring with ultrasounds and blood tests, followed by an egg retrieval. In the lab, in the, lab the egg are then mixed with the sperm and an embryo transfer is done two, three, or five days later. Now, the disadvantage of in vitro fertilization is it's more involved and more expensive, but the upside is that the pregnancy rates are very high. Especially when you're considering multiple pregnancy, you have control over how many embryos are being transferred that is put back into the woman. So especially if you limit the number to one or two, then it's very seldom to ha that you're gonna have uh, high order multiple pregnancies.